Welcome to Vora Motors. Today, we'll be showing you how to replace the stem on your Mantis King GT. Some of the Mantis King GT riders in our community have experienced hairline cracks likely caused by two separate pieces of the stem not being welded strongly enough by the manufacturer. If you were affected by this and purchased from us, give our customer support team a call and we'll happily send you a replacement stem. For these tasks, you'll need a 3, 4, and 5mm hex key, hammer, 8mm wrench, 10mm socket wrench, vice grips, needle nose pliers, torch, tape, and some zip ties. First things first, cut off any zip ties and remove the black cloth around the main connectors and brake lines. Then disconnect the main connectors and brake lines at the top of your scooter. Remove the rubber cover and unscrew the brake lines on both sides with an 8mm wrench. Have a towel at the ready to catch any dripping brake fluid. Mark one of the brake lines with tape so you know which is which. Move the rubber gaskets out of the way and feed the brake lines down the stem. Mark one side of the main connectors with tape and then pull them down out of the stem. Next, use a 4mm hex key to remove the headlight. Now you can move the four screws on the handlebar with a 5mm hex key. Place the handlebar to the side. Fold the stem down. Next, with a 3mm hex key, remove the screws and housing to free the stem. There will be Loctite, so be careful not to strip it. Unscrew both sides and then tap out the housing. If it doesn't budge, use a torch to loosen up the Loctite. Once you have the stem free, remove the locking pin on the folding mechanism with vice grips. There will be Loctite, so use some elbow grease. If that doesn't work, use a torch to heat it up. With a 3mm hex key, remove both screws on either side of the folding latch. Then tap out the housing. Using a 10mm socket wrench, unscrew the handlebar stem adapter while holding the other side in place with a 5mm Allen key. Remove both screws to free the adapter from your old stem. Next, take your new stem and install the adapter at the top by screwing in both screws with a 10mm socket wrench and 5mm Allen key. Install the folding latch at the bottom of the stem by tapping in the housing first and screwing it in place with a 3mm hex key. Screw in the locking pin and tighten with your vice grips. Now install the new stem by lining up the holes as well as the latch. Then, knock out the housing in place and screw it on both sides with a 3mm hex key. Next, screw the handlebar into the stem adapter with a 5mm hex key. Then, install your headlight with a 4mm hex key. Feed the cables up through the stem beginning with the main connectors. To get them out of the hole, we recommend pushing it out from the other side with needle-nose pliers. Repeat these steps with the brake lines. We suggest taping the rubber cover towards the end of the brake line so it doesn't get stuck inside the stem. Slide on both rubber gaskets. Now you can plug in the main connectors by their corresponding colors. Then insert the brake line into the lever. Screw it in with your 8mm wrench and place the rubber cover on. Repeat these steps on the other side. Wipe away any excess brake fluid. Insert the rubber gaskets. Zip tie the cables together. Then wrap the black cloth around your cables. Finally, use one last zip tie and that's it! Your stem replacement is complete. We've recently received some feedback on our tutorials, and we wanted to ask our writers how comprehensive you'd prefer our tutorials be. If you have any comments on how you think we could improve our tutorials to make them easier to understand, let us know below. Until then, safe writing.